Hello everyone, how to solve this problem for the values of m if we have m is equals to m divided by 8 and uh, we uh, solve this problem for the values of m. So here first we find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will check that is these roots are a solution of this equation or is these roots are uh, extraneous roots. Also, I will explain the term extraneous at the end of this problem. So, please watch this question at the end. And now we solve this problem uh, for two methods and I hope so you like both of these methods. But if you have any other method in your mind, so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. So, in the first method, uh, we use here the LCM technique to find the value or to find the roots of M. So, uh, for this here first, we move this m over 8 in the left hand side and it will be written as m minus m divided by 8. So, when we move this term in the left hand side, it will become equals to 0. So, in order to take the LCM of this term, we need to make the denominator of these two terms are same and you see here the denominator of this term is 8 and the denominator of this term is a 1. So, in order to make this 8, we need to multiply and divide this term by 8 in this way, okay. So, now you see here the uh, denominator of both of these terms are same. So, here we easily take the LCM of this equation. So, the LCM becomes 8 and this 8 is cancelled out by this 8 and we will get here 8 m minus this 8 is cancelled out by this 8 and we get here m is equals to 0. And now here further in the next step, you see here 8m minus m uh, becomes here 7m because when we subtract two variable terms, uh, so you can just subtract the coefficients of these terms. So when we subtract 8 minus 1, we get 7 and it is divided by 8 and that is equals to 0. So because we solve this problem for the values of m, uh, so that's why we will uh, multiplying uh, both of these sides by 8. So, when we multiply both of the sides by 8, it will be written as 8 multiplied by 7m divided by 8 is equals to 0 is multiplied by 8. So, further in the next step, you see here this 8 is cancelled out by this 8 and we get here 7m is equals to 0 is multiplied by 8 becomes here 0. So, for the values of m, we need to divide uh, both of the sides by 7. When we divide by 7, it will become, so this 7 is cancelled out by this 7 and we get here our m is equals to 0 divided by 7 becomes here 0. So, uh, this is the value of m uh, which we get here uh, or this is the root of the given equation. And now here in the next step, we need to verify this root and we check that is, is this root be the solution of the given equation or is this root be the extraneous root of the given equation. So for this, we need to copy down given question statement here. It is m is equals to m over 8. And now here further, uh, we uh, just substitute uh, the value of m is equals to 0 on both of the sides of this equation. When we put this value here, it will become 0 is equals to 0 divided by 8. And here we very well uh, know about that when we uh, divide uh, 0 by any other number. So, it is always gives us the answer or solution is 0. So, 0 by 8 becomes here 0. So, we get here 0 is equals to 0. So, here we finally conclude that. Uh, m equals to 0 be the solution of the given equation okay and a given equation has no extraneous root also we uh, explain about the extraneous root extraneous roots are the roots that not satisfied our given question statement is called the extraneous root okay so but here m equals to 0 satisfied our given question statement so m equals to 0 be the uh, root of the given equation so, here further in the next step, we again solve this problem for second method and in second method, uh, we first need to copy down given question statement here. 
So the given question statement is m is equals to m divided by 8. This is the our given question statement and here uh, we uh, use the cross multiplication technique. And you see here the denominator of this term is 1 and so we cross multiply the terms and when we multiply this 1 with m and we multiply 8 with this m so after cross multiplication of the terms we get here 8 times of m is equals to 1 times of m. So uh, here uh, for the values of uh, m uh, you see here. Uh, here uh, we move this m in the left hand side and uh, we we will get here 8 times of m minus this will becomes here 1 times of m is equals to 0 and here we subtract these two values and 8m minus m becomes here 7m is equals to 0. So here we find the value of m for this we divide both of the sides by 7. So when we divide both of the sides by 7, so you get here this 7 is cancelled out by the 7 and here we already uh, say about 0 over 7 when we multiply, when we divide 0 by any other number it is always gives us the answer is 0. Okay, so in the left hand side we get m is equals to in the right hand side we have 0 over 7 becomes 0. So uh, here we are already verify m equals to 0 into the above method. Uh, so we uh, from both of these methods we will get here the same answer and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.